This is a 2005 Acura TL. At least it's what's left of one. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think it was about a year and a half ago, the young man who currently owns it, he brought it to me. He was thinking about buying it. As I recall, the car was pretty much in mint condition at that time. The only problem was it had some funny wear on the right front tire and I advised him that it needed a ball joint. It also had, it was about 130, 140,000 miles, somewhere in that range. And I told him it probably needs a timing belt. Anyway, it would appear that they replaced the tires, but uh, did not address the ball joint. And it has gone from, from loose to non-existent. I don't know the details. I didn't even ask. It doesn't matter. I don't know if the car was in an accident and that finished off the ball joint or if the ball joint failed and caused an accident or if they're totally unrelated. Like I said, it doesn't matter. It's obviously been, uh, been through some hard times, but the thing we're here to fix is the ball joint or lack thereof. So unfortunately when it failed, it pretty much ruined the fender. It's like the door is okay. That sill might be okay. I don't know. Anyway, we're here to make it drivable again. Yeah, it's just got the fancy splined lug nuts. I think it's that one. Uh, well, which one is it? Not that one. Well, I don't know. I got a whole set of these spline sockets because I hate digging through people's cars trying to find their, their sockets. But I don't seem to have the right one. That's too small, too big. All right, I guess we're going on a hunt. Found it. And now that's the wrong side. See if we can get this ball joint out of here. This is not one of Honda's better ideas, in my opinion. So we gotta remove this dust shield, hopefully without damaging the wheel speed sensor. I suppose there's some performance reason why they designed the suspension this way. You know, your typical front wheel drive vehicle has McPherson strut suspension. So essentially the, the spring here is bolted directly to the knuckle. And then when you steer, the spring strut, whatever you want to call it, essentially turns with the knuckle. There's a bearing at the top that lets it pivot. And the ball joint at the bottom, it mostly sees a side load. And then, you know, like an F-150 pickup truck, they have sort of a similar setup to this, but the ball joint is reversed. So it bolts, well, the, the control arm is above the ball joint connection on the knuckle. In this setup, if the ball joint fails, it just shoots right out the bottom and you're completely, completely hooped. 
in the F-150, if the ball joint gets bad, you know, you still have gravity kind of holding the thing together. Anyway, the other problem with this is it's really kind of a pain to change these ball joints. See the thing, you know, there's really no space above it to get any kind of tool in there to press it out. So we're gonna try the air hammer. It's been a while since I did one of these. I can't remember how I, how I did it the last time. We'll try the old Astro Pneumatic 498. Should get the job done for us. So we're going to have to get that off the ball joint somewhere. Well, that was easy. Okay. Now we got to rig up enough adapters to install that ball joint. That's a filter socket for Super Duty Fords, 36 millimeter. Works on the power stroke fuel filters and whatnot. At least get us started. Close it down with some weasel whiz. All right, we'll try this socket. This one is for 2.4 liter, I think, Ecotech GM engines, the oil filters. Those cartridge style filters. Looks like it's about right. All right, now we're getting way out there. Got to have something bigger diameter at the bottom. All right, this could be it. The final solution. Now is the part where we find out that that's the wrong ball joint. And we have to do a lot of crying. I could not get that inner CV joint to come off the shaft. So we're gonna try a little trick. I reached in with a long screwdriver and punched out the dust cap at the end. 
I want to try to wedge a piece of 15,000 shim stock in and just collapse that collapse that hog ring. It's like they scientifically engineered this CV boot grease to be the nastiest stuff. I know that's under that ring. You can feel it. Man. Come on. I don't know what the problem is here. This is the face of a defeated man. I have spent the better part of four hours trying to get that CV joint to come off. And I'm no further now than I was when I started. It ain't gonna happen. I've tried pry bars, I've tried hammers, I've tried air hammers, I've tried slide hammers. Not happening. So I finally decided I was gonna break something trying to get it off. So I was gonna pull the whole shaft out and I'm telling you it can't be done you cannot remove that bearing from the back of the engine without removing the exhaust and you know that ain't gonna happen around here I finally got it it took me well over an hour to get three bolts out there is no access so I'm gonna try to pull that out of there I don't know if it's gonna work or not Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So apparently that won't come out of there. God, if I could find the guy who designed this thing, I would punch him right in the face. This is so ignorant. Why would you design something like this? That's not coming out of there. It's impossible. Yeah, that wasn't coming out. Wonder if I broke it. Probably did. Knowing my luck on this project. Yeah. It's broken. Obviously that's not gonna work. So I sent the customer out to the local junkyard and he picked us up a used one. That's how it's supposed to come apart. Why this happened and why this broke, I really don't know. I really don't care. Doesn't matter, let's put it back together. The good news is it should go back together a whole lot easier than it came apart because I don't have that CV knuckle in the way of those bolts. That's the theory anyway. I'm not kidding, it took me the better part of two hours to get that thing out, and it went back in in about 10 minutes. So that's good, but there's one more obstacle. Our friends at Honda, they don't make it easy. So we gotta pull that strut 
off, whatever you want to call it. And we're just gonna cross our fingers and pray that the bolt is free in the bushing. So far, so good. This car's not rusty. I mean, not really, not by Illinois standards. Okay, we should be able to get that in there. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work. I'm gonna put the original oil filter back on. Go ahead and leave your comments below. It's okay, it's made in China. It'll be fine. We'll torque the uh, strut bolt once we get it set down at ride height. I think we're almost done. 181 foot-pounds. You know, now that I think about it, it might have been the upper ball joint that was bad the last time I saw this car. I can't remember. They are different from one side to the other, so maybe another shop, another shop replaced that. Really don't know. That's it. It's never a good day when your ball joint separates, especially not when you're v teching around in your Acura TL. I mean, this could have been a whole lot worse. Apparently he was just putting around town. Imagine if he was barreling down one of our glass smooth highways. Could have been a real bad day. I mean, I've seen cars completely totaled from separated ball joints. I mean, anything you can think of. Subframe damage, holes in the oil pan, fenders, doors, hoods destroyed. Yeah, it's not a good situation. Also, I will recommend that he replace the driver's side ball joint. It's always good to do them in pairs. And this one's on its way out. Slow down, folks. Everybody can put down their pitchforks and torches. Maybe go back and delete a few of those nasty comments you left. I did punch the lock nut so it can't come loose. I also reattached that brake hose bracket. And wouldn't you know it, I went ahead and replaced the driver's side ball joint. And actually, other than the, the weird orientation, that's a super easy ball joint to change. Book time's only 0.6 hours, which I'm telling you, you gotta be hustling to make that, but it's not too far off. Thanks for watching.